So I got into campus in 2015. I was invited to the University of Nairobi to study Bachelor of Arts in Economics and, uh, and uh, Psychology and uh, Political Science. So initially I had chosen Geography instead of Psychology because I thought that I was the best in the, co in the whole of uh, the world, that world uh, in this place I used to study at. Uh, and nobody had scored the grade I had scored in geography. So I thought I, had, I, I, I was good at geography. But I remember I studied it for two weeks and then started realizing that is not what I wanted. So getting into campus, I remember um, this guy now who has found new friends, who have shown me how Nairobi is like. I've started getting to, to be in so many relationships with women. I remember that's the time I broke up with my first love and, and, and all that. And I, I, I was still looking for this thing I would find in women and I really wanted maybe some kind of love, to feel some kind of love. I never wanted to treat them like I used to see my, my dad, um, my dad treating my mom. I never wanted um, to be like my dad. I hadn't felt the love. I wanted the, to be given that, that love that my mom had, was giving me because she loved me very much. At that time she would even send uh, a friend of mine to bring me chapels in school and all that. So when I was getting into campus, I remember I was investing in shares, I had studied so much about shares, I really wanted to be rich. I wanted to be totally different from who my dad was. And one way I had to do that is I, I was obsessed to being rich, I was obsessed to, 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 to making it out of the society, and uh, that is where the problem started, because I was, I, was, I was in a way greedy and I wanted to make it. Either way, I wanted to make it. And that's the motivation, number one motivation of even me working hard, so hard in high school to get that grade and to get into university. So I get into university, I get into a certain room where the people in that room are going to some places, they are gambling, they are, they, 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 they are getting into nightclubs. And one day they come tell me that we have been doing something that has given, given us money. So at that time I, had, I was gambling uh, in a certain app called uh, Support Pesa. And uh, I, 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 I won some money that day. And that motivated me. I never knew anything about gambling. And here it is, it's starting to get some hype in the market. So immediately I started realizing, ah, there is something good. This is somewhere I can make money. Remember I was the guy who was in shares and all that. And I had failed away uh, in some shares because I, I wanted it quick. And you know, you have to study, you have to research so much for you to, to make it in that market. But I hadn't done that. So I invested one day after working so hard in some shares from a certain company and made some losses. And so that's how I quit on that. So I started gambling and all that. And then my friends were getting to the casino. So one day they take me to Kemadi Street, a casino casino down there called City Casino. And we go all the way to the third floor. We find some machines there and they are more they are more comf they are better than the, the, the Sport Pesa app because I had to pay to, to, to on these online apps to, to on the M Pesa and all the charges. But here I just placed the sh the hundred shillings into the into the, the machine and immediately I I, 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 I place my bet. So I, I I thought it was good. So a few days later, um, 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 we, we, we were getting off out of the building with, with some friends and uh, I start asking myself, what is exactly in this in this place? It's a casino, but where exactly are there people in this in this building? Where is it that there are people in this building and they are so busy? They look so busy. Some of them, I never noticed that there are people who are frustrated there. All I saw is why exactly is the place like this? So I remember getting to a certain machine, a round machine, which I will later learn it's called the roulette, and I sat. I find a certain there close to the age of my dad, or even older than my dad. I ask him, what exactly do you guys do here? So I, he tells me, give me uh, 500 shillings and I will show you what we do. So I give him the money. In a minute, the money has, has, has multiplied. He gives me 2,500. 2, I give him 500, I am left with 2,000 shillings. So when I go back to school, I think, I start thinking, ah, this is how billionaires become. This is how people get to become rich. So I get back to school. I am inviting everybody to come into the casino. I am telling them this is how people with Range Rovers make money. So let's go back. Let's. Although some people got to, 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 to quit on that thing, the drive was still there for me to, to, to continue gambling.